Hey, Dad. Hey, Kyle. How are you today? I'm doing good. Are you sure? Well, I, I'm running on four hours of sleep right now. I forgot my SD card. I forgot my AirPods. You're going to be 22 <laughs> soon, very soon, and I, I can't just keep saving the day for you. I am fully prepared today to change your life. I'm gonna use the power of Sufjan Stevens. We're gonna listen to Illinois. It's pretty much all about Illinois. Um, yeah. This was a part of a project that Sufjan Stevens was doing where he was gonna make an album about every state in America. Then, <laughs> really, uh, that's a lot of albums. He only made two. <laughs> <laughs> the first track is called Concerning the UFO Sighting of Near Highland, Illinois. Also, by the way, all the song titles are like fucking paragraphs. This sounds oddly the same as it did when you showed up the other day and your computer didn't work. <laughs> In the spirit of three stars. Do you remember when I took the bus to school and I had to like walk to the top of the hill? The first time I listened to this album, uh, I was doing that trip, walking up to the top of the hill. It was a really cool first listen of the song because it was like just like foggy and stuff. See, look, this is a fucking paragraph. The Black Hawk War, or how demolish the entire civilization and still feel good about yourself in the morning, or we apologize for the inconvenience, but you're going to have to leave now, or this is why, you know, he only got through two states, because it's like the titles were killing him. By the way, the way I describe this album is like a, if you're into like Disney soundtracks, a what? If you're into like Disney musicals and stuff. This is great today because I can't hear a damn word you're saying because the music's so loud. <laughs> In my opinion, this is when the album really starts. Come on, Field of Illinois, part one. The World's Columbian Exposition, part two. Carl Sandburg visits me in a dream. Wasn't that the Snoopy soundtrack? <laughs> I think he needs a dancing Disney princess or something. <laughs> Where was Ferris Bueller filmed? Why are you looking that up? I know a little bit more about Chicago than you might think I do. Where was Ferris Bueller filmed? Well, I can read it on your screen. Where? Chicago. Oh, so lots of movies. For Uncle me. Buck, Ferris Bueller, Sixteen Candles, another John Hughes movie. Q Dinsey Princess, Disney Princess. Yeah. <laughs> Glencoe is a suburb of Chicago. It's had a whole bunch of stuff happen in that area. For instance, serial killers. Oh. This is going to come up, by the way, in the album. John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, this is a song on the album. Most notorious serial killers from Illinois. Yeah. You think there might be one. <laughs> Raymond Lee Stewart. Wow. This guy killed a whole bunch of gas station attendants. That's weird. That's an um, interesting niche. <laughs> 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 wow, dude. <laughs> So I also want you to try to imagine, try to imagine me at 14 years old. As a serial killer? What, would, what would your niche be, Kyle? <laughs> I want you to try to imagine me at 14 years old trying to, or experiencing this album for the very first time. Like this kind of changed a lot of my perspective of music at the time. Well, please play the next song then, because I didn't realize how important this was to you. This next song is called John Wayne Gacy Jr. <laughs> He sounds like such a nice guy. So this song changed your life? Well, more of just the whole album in general. There's a few albums that I've listened to in my 14, 15 year old age that uh, really changed my whole perspective on music. That's changing my life because I want to be here today doing this with you. Well, that's gross. Just like him. 
What the hell is that? Yeah. So if you're wondering, uh, that's him comparing himself to John Wayne. I'm not wondering. I read it. I saw it. I heard it. I'm not sure what's worse, the fact that he did that or you said this album changed your life. (laughs) All right. This next song you already know because I've already shown it to you. I showed it to you a couple years back and I know it's on one of your playlists. It's called Jacksonville. This is a good song. It's a great song. Very good song. You're really into this uh, whole serial killer thing. And... No, now I'm looking at gangsters, because that's <laughs> the next thing we're going to go through, is the gangsters of Chicago. You know there's more about Illinois than just Chicago. Chicago's just one city in Illinois, you know that, right? You really didn't need to go to college, did you? <laughs> you got all that shit figured out. <laughs> next song is a, a Decatur or a round of applause for your stepmother. Starts off like a Dixie Chick song. Our stepmom, we did everything to hate her. She took us down to the edge of Decatur. Kind of a fun song. Yeah, this is a fun one. Superwoman skeletons in their graves. They came up clapping in the spirit of the aviator. Illinois was the first state to ratify the 13th Amendment to the Constitution abolishing slavery in 1865. Since you've been so obsessed about Chicago, you're going to love this next song because it's all about Chicago. How do you sell your clothes to the state? How's that work? Good question. Like selling, you've made a lot of mistakes like selling your clothes to the state? <laughs> Once again, Kyle, 14 year old Kyle was just blown away just because of just how grand it sounded compared to everything else I've been exposed to at the time musically. It was for freedom. Yeah, USA! All things roll. 14 year old Jay was enamored by a song called The Night Chicago Died. And my dad went to school in Chicago, on the south side of Chicago. He would play this song constantly. Well, that's cool that we both have an important memory with a song called Chicago. Yeah, but mine had about fighting and cops and battles, and yours is about a dude crying in a dude van. Dude crying in a van. <laughs> this next song, Kashmir Pulaski Day, is probably my favorite song on the album. Golden Rod and the 4 H Dome, the things I brought you when I found out you had cancer of the bone. In the morning, through the window shade, when the light dressed up. It's a really cool song. Yeah. So I'm saying, favorite song off the album. How many albums has he done? A lot. A lot of them are kind of in different styles too, which is really cool. How old is he? I don't know. Do your thing where you look up the. Oh, I thought this I, is, I thought I asked you questions. This is, this is what you do. It's a really cool song. It's 48. Look at that. Academy Awards, Amphet. Critic Choice Awards, Doring Awards, Dual he, Derby Awards. He's a Awards. pretty respected musician. Next song is called The Man of Metropolis Steals Our Hearts. Turn a mountain of lies, turn a card for my life. Just a fun fact, this song is about Superman. There's multiple covers of this album. Oh, there's Superman on the cover. Yeah, one of the covers, there's Superman on there. What does Superman have to do with Chicago? I was hoping you could figure that out. <laughs> There's a Superman statue proudly over the city of Metropolis, Illinois. Across the street is the Super Museum showcasing rare Superman memorabilia. Look at that, there's even pictures. He puts a lot into his songs. Well, especially this album. This album is uh, one of his more grander experiences. I forgot what this next song is, but it's uh, called The Prairie Fire That Wanders About. We're keeping you awake? What time did you get home from work last night? Well, I got off around 2.15, and when I laid in bed, it was around 3.30, and then I couldn't fall asleep. And so I was just tossing and turning all night until the birds were chirping and the sun was rising. You gotta stop taking speed so late at night. <laughs> yeah. This song's really good. 
The predatory wasp of the Palisades is out to get us. <laughs> Kind of cool. I feel like the more you enjoy an album, the less you talk. I think that's the scale, honestly. If you ever find yourself on the banks of the Mississippi or Ohio rivers in Illinois, keep your eyes peeled. You might find some gold dust that might solve your cash flow problems. Oh, this next song is super cool. The next song is called, uh, They Are Night Zombies. They are neighbors. They have come back from the dead. Ah! Hmm. This song is really cool. Also, the only reason why I know how to spell Illinois is because of this song. Okay, ready? That comes up in the album. World's tallest man. The world's tallest man. <laughs> that comes up in the album. Was born. Huh. The first McDonald's. The what original a... ice cream sundae. A lot of rich history. In the Illinois. first modern skyscraper. All right, here's a fun fact about Stufion Stevens. He studied the oboe, and he played, so a lot of the horn stuff you hear on his albums is actually him playing the oboe. Oh, that's another funny fact. He didn't learn to read until he was third <laughs> yeah. grade. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sufjan Stevens, his 50 States project was a promotional gimmick. That's what I'm saying. It was a marketing thing. Or he just got lazy. <laughs> We're getting towards the end of the album, by the way. It's gone by really fast, actually. It actually has. Next song is called The Sears Tower. In terms of songs that are not kind of interludes, I think this is my least favorite song on the album. Your least favorite? I don't think you've ever said that. You usually say everything's your favorite. I don't know. This song's never really uh, grabbed my attention. You misspelled Sears in your... I don't know. Oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> in 1969, Sears Roebuck and Company was the largest retailer in the world. With about 350,000 employees, they decided to need one of the largest office spaces for their many employees. Architects Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill were commissioned to design what would become the largest office building in the world, the Sears Tower. Wow. I'm still really concerned about what's under those floorboards. So I got an idea for what we should, we could try. Now I'm going to say it because every one of my ideas Kyle hates. So I'll just say it anyway. We could do a pull the thread. Before you get into this, the next song, by the way, is The Tallest Man, The Broadest Shoulders, Part 1, The Great Frontier, Part 2, Come to Me Only with Playthings Now. Go ahead. I'm trying to figure out what the hell that means. Also, this song is probably my favorite song off the album. Hmm. Again, he's with the uh, Snoopies <laughs> theme song. <laughs> Seven minutes, by the way. Longest song on the album. Oh, yay. See, in Pull the Thread, you play a song, and as the song plays, one of us grabs something from that song that plays into another song, and while that song plays, one of us has to figure out where it goes to next from that other song. Okay. That's not a bad idea. But the only problem He's is... He's never, ever said that. <laughs> it's not a, a terrible idea. <laughs> the only problem with that, I said I don't know what the title and thumbnail would be, so I'd have to think about it. Because if I just say you can't figure out a thumbnail for that, my dad and I play pull the thread. Who the fuck knows what that is? I just told you what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna write that all on the YouTube title. <laughs> Once again, 14-year-old Kyle's never experienced anything like this, ever. What was 14-year-old Kyle listening to before this? Well, I used to be into a lot of Green Day. And I used to be into a lot of uh, this band called Panic at the Disco, My Chemical Romance. Uh, I started listening to Muse. And then I was getting into Radiohead and Modest Mouse. And then this guy right here.
See, this is me being really quiet and not really actually loving the song. Oh, uh, you're not liking this? <laughs> no, this is oh, okay. dude. You just broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me that's not one of the best songs of all time? That is not one of the best songs of all time. Wow. Last song is called Out of Egypt and the Great Laugh of Mankind. I shake the dirt from my sandals as I run. So I guess we could talk about it because there's nothing else. Is there no, about no this lyrics song? to the song? It's no just, lyrics, yeah. It's oh, just, you could have mentioned that at the end with I was waiting for lyrics. So what do you think of your experience with uh, Illinois by Sufjan Stevens? It was a fun album. Yeah? Yeah. Would you say that this album changed your life? No, not at all. But I mean, that doesn't, <laughs> I'm not 14. I can see where you were 14 and listening to what you were listening to and all of a sudden you listen to this and you're like, holy crap, music is totally different than I thought it was. Yeah. I can totally say that. <laughs> Maybe one day we can do The Age of Odds Because it's kind of like this But it's like more experimental And more electronic I think you'll have an interesting experience With that album I'm very scared that the next album we're going to have to do Is Trout Mask, Repli Trout Mask Replica What the hell is that? It's going to be the longest album you've ever listened to in your life Like it's going to feel like the longest album Dude Why would anybody want me to listen to that? You'll find out if it wins Thank you guys for watching Thanks, guys. Let us know what you want us to listen to next. No, no trout things. I don't like fish. <laughs>